All right, what's up, y'all? I wanted to make another video. Um, it's been a while since I've uploaded, but I wanted to make one about a father's love. And Father's Day was this past Sunday, and I originally wanted to post it then, but um, I just didn't get a chance to record. It's now four days later, but it's okay, because, um, I mean, this is something that God has um, revealed to me, and I guess I just wanted to share it. And so, um, basically, the message is we shouldn't impose our fathers, our heaven, or no, our earthly fathers, like attributes, qualities on our heavenly father, right? It kind of seems obvious, but let me explain to you what I mean, because um, I didn't realize that I did that. And um, so basically, like with my, with my dad here on earth, right? He's a good dad. Um, him and my mom were together up until I was about eight and then they divorced. And ever since then, I mean, up until I was like 17, I would just see him like on the weekends and that's it. Um, but my dad really isn't one to show affection. He's not really um, an affection type of dude. He's a, I mean, I'm, he's a, like just your typical Mexican dad, right? He's real... Um, Machi, I'm not even gonna try to say it in Spanish, but um, he's like a macho, a macho dude, right? He's like a manly man, and he's um, real proud and prideful, and that's just my dad. And, and I, I get how he is; like, he's not one to just be all like, "I love you, son," or anything like that, right? And that's fine because I'm the same way. I'm not one. I'm not affectionate or emotional or anything like that, like whatsoever. And so I understand. Like, I, I'm the same way. I mean, but I found myself. Right, kind of imposing like his qualities on our heavenly father. And I didn't realize that I did this, but um, okay, so like in church and going up in church, you always hear like God loves you, right? He loves you. God loves you so much. And he, he gave his, or of course, he sent his son to die for you. Like all that stuff. Yes, he loves you so much. And you, you always hear that. And I've always heard that so much that I almost, it almost lost meaning. Right. And and when I think of like God loving us and God loving people, it feels like it's easy to to think about that with God loving other people like God. Like I would go come up and preach it every Sunday. Like, man, God loves you all and all that. And it's easy to say how much God loves other people, but it's never really become fully realized to me in my mind. Right. Because I, I mean, obviously, like, yes, God, I know that you love me. You love me so much that you sent Jesus and that you died for my sins. And you've called me since I was a, a, a since I was a kid. I, I've always known that I was going to do this. Like God's loved me so much that he's done all these things for me. But just to think about him, like just loving me, like like as an affectionate like father. I've never had an affectionate father. I'm not complaining about my dad's parenting or anything like that. My dad's a good dad. I, I, I'm not, I don't care. I'm not here to complain about my dad, but like, I've never thought about our heavenly father being like that because of how my dad is. And I just realized this uh, just this week. And um, one thing like this, this past Sunday, right, was Father's Day. And I texted my dad, happy birth or not happy birthday, stupid, uh, Happy Father's Day. And I said, I love you, Dad. And all he said was, yes, sir. And this didn't hurt me or nothing, right? I'm just saying, like, just to show you that, like, my dad wasn't one to be like, oh, I love you too, whatever. Like, sometimes he'll say, like, I love you, blah. But, like, he's not one to just be real affectionate or anything like that. When I was a kid, I remember, like, my dad really cares about, like, sports and all that. And I was, I mean, I was good at sports growing up. And I remember that I would always try to, like, play harder and I would always seek his like approval right like like just, just to be like good enough for him to tell me like good job or something like that but like growing up he never he never did with sports and it's not that I it's not that I sucked but he never was like oh good job I've never heard that from my dad ever in sports like good game or anything like that and I, I was good right I'm telling you I was pretty it's pretty good and even like as a as a senior I, I was even um all district or whatever and I had a lot of, I had a few good games and my dad was never, he never once told me good job. Or usually he would just critique me and be like, ah, you, you missed a tackle here or whatever. You missed a tackle in the second quarter. You could have done better, blah, blah, blah. Like he always just like 
would almost put me down a little bit instead of being like, good job. Like, I've never heard that from him. And that's fine, right? I'm not, com- again, I'm not complaining about my, my parenting or anything like that. But I, fi- I find that, like, in church and when I come and preach and when I think about my Heavenly Father, like, it's easy t- for me to think about God loving other people. But when it comes to Him being affect- affectionate to me, it's like, I don't, it's weird. I don't, I don't, I don't think of God doing that to me. I, I don't ever think of God being like looking down on me and smiling and being like, good job, like, good job, Stephen, or I love you so much, Stephen. Like, I know ultimately he loves you. And just like my, my earthly dad, I know my dad loves me, but he's not one to just show it or tell me or anything like that. And so when I think of like my heavenly father, right, our heavenly father, I kind of I think of it the same way. Like, I know he loves me, but he's not one to just show it to me. But that's not true. God could definitely just show me. And I... That's why, like, now I really want God to just, like, Lord, like, you break that. Like, you show me love like that. Like, I've never experienced, and, like, I've heard of other people just, like, man, I've never felt such love. And I, I do come and I pray, and when I get up in His presence and I, I feel good and I feel like His Spirit, I'm like, God, thank you. But I want to feel, like, now I'm realizing, like, man, Lord, I want to feel that love. Right? Just that love. Like, let that become fully realized to me in my head how much you love me and how much I mean to you. Not that I need it because it got to the point like in sports, like I didn't care whatever my dad said. Like it, it, it didn't matter. Like whatever. Like I kind of just got, I grew hard to it. I was like, okay, I don't really care. I know he's not going to tell me anything. So I was like, okay, whatever. And that's kind of what I do like with, with God. When I come and preach, I'm like, God, like I, I don't need your approval. And that, that sounds bad, but I don't need you to just tell me anything. Like God, I know that everything that I preached was led by you. So like I'm not out here seeking any feedback or any pats on the back. I don't, I don't care about that stuff. And maybe that's why God allowed my, my dad to be like that. But like, just, I'm realizing that, man, I want that to be fully realized in me, right? That, that love, that affectionate love of a father that I've never had. And I'm not, again, I'm not complaining. I love my dad and, and he's a good, he's a good father. But I just wanted to make this video like, however, you're, uh, dad is like don't impose those same um attributes of your dad on our god right whether your dad is uh, like a deadbeat whether he abandoned you don't ever think that our god will abandon you because of how your father treated you no our father in heaven is nothing like your earthly father right man is imperfect but god is good and he's all loving all good and he's he's perfect and he will not let you down he will not leave you nor forsake you he will not fail you and so you don't have to worry about that. Don't look at your dad and be like, man, I, he's just going to leave me just like everybody else, right? Or he's going to fail me just like my dad did. Anything like that. No, 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 no. Because it's, our father is good, right? And so I just wanted to make this video and thank you, Jesus, man. Uh, I just, I'm real happy right now. And I, I want to make a, I'm going to post more videos soon. Probably a longer video about prayer. And um, I mean, that'll be coming up soon. But uh, thanks for watching.